Hi again, and welcome to the New York Financial Organizers interview series, where I, Peter Gordon, the president of New York Financial Organizers, um, interview people I think that are uh, very helpful to those that I uh, would normally assist in my business. So I, myself, am an expert in daily money management, but I value knowing the other experts. And my clients value that as well. And today I'm here talking to Evans, St. Gerard. And Hi, guys. Kramer. And uh, they're with Keller Williams. And I met them through, naturally, through a client and was very, very impressed with everything about how they did their business, uh, from the care they took to explaining their services, to walking their clients through the process to being open and honest and always available. And uh, we've struck up a friendship since then and I uh, thought it'd be great to expose them to people, the two or three people who view my videos. And maybe watch. <laughs> There's more, there's more than watch your videos. And, um, and, you know, and let them tell you a little bit about themselves. So um, Evans, you wanna start it up? Okay, well, as like Peter mentioned, we met through a mutual client and uh, we hit it off. Um, we learned a lot from Peter, um, impressed with him as well. Uh, Dean and I are both real, real estate agents here at Keller Williams. We service Queens, Long Island, Brooklyn, and the Bronx. Uh, we work in two different shifts, basically. I mostly handle the buyers and Dean handles the sellers. We work with both. Um, we help people basically, whether they're buying, selling, investing in real estate, relocating, you name it, we, we, we help them with all that. Um, Dean, anything you want to add? Yeah. Um, well, I've been working as a team together with Keller Williams for the past nine years. And um, I mean, our business, we pride our business on, on customer service, client service. I know that, you know, we hear that a lot and um, from people, but the truth you of the matter is I have a problem. Hold on, pause. So Evans, would you like to start? Sure. Um, Peter, thank you so much for, for doing this with us. Um, we met Peter, like met, he mentioned, we met through a mutual client. Uh, we're real estate agents. We serve as Queens, Brooklyn, Long Island, and the Bronx. Uh, Dean and I have been working for roughly, what, nine years now? As nine. A team? All right. So our, our, um, I specialize in working with the buyers, and Dean specializes working with the sellers. We help people move whether it's buying, selling, or investing in real estate, we help them with all that. And uh, we also were growing our network with other agents in other cities that we can help them. Whether they're leaving here, going to another city, we can help them with that as well. So that's pretty much in a nutshell what we do. Dean, if you want to add anything. All right, so, so Evans and I, like I said, have been working together for nine years and a lot of our businesses repeat business from past clients. And uh, we try to um, provide the best possible client services that we can. And customer service, client service, um, obviously it's returning phone calls, being on top of things, uh, letting the customers and clients know what's, what the next move is all the time. But it's also when we're working a deal, when we have a great team that we're working with, like we did, um, we were so happy to meet Peter um, on the transaction that we had the you know, mutual seller on, mutual family. And um, everything just goes so much better that way when it's communication chain, it, it's, it's right when something happens, the next person finds out and the next person finds out and the, the customer, the client, whether it's a buyer or seller, they're in the loop. They know exactly what's going on, what's causing this, why, and what the next move is. And that's why we love doing business with Peter because the deal that we had together recently was as transparent as can be. And um, the other thing is we always want to be as, um, I guess, as open and honest with the, with the clients as we can meaning we don't want to overpromise and under deliver. You know, I want to be able to, Hey, this is what it is. It's not always what people want to hear, but they forget about that a little bit at the beginning and they'll remember how the process went and how, and they'll certainly remember how they felt when everything ended, you know, when, when the transaction closed and we're just always looking forward to um, having them just have a you know clear vision of, of the whole process. That's pretty much it in a nutshell. I couldn't say anything better. Uh, that's great. And that's very much how it worked. And, and uh, I, I love what you said about, you don't want to overpromise and, uh, and undersell, which, because that was a that was an issue in the case of our client where they had, they had to have their um, expectations managed. And that's, um, that's an important job for any salesman, you know, whatever they're selling. 
but especially in the world of real estate. And that's why, um, you know, I thought that things went so well with us, all things considered. Yeah. Because you kept things real. And uh, in, in actually what I thought would be a very difficult time. We saw, we did this, this deal when it's the beginning of COVID and, yep. um, and people like, no, you can't do it. real estate deals. You can't do it. And, and I was saying the same thing. And, and Dean and Evans were like, no, you'll see, it'll be fine. You know, we're in touch. And like you said, it's all about communication. I, yeah. I think one of the things that made us so successful with, with this closing on uh, this situation is pretty much the education that we get in our office both of us are both learning based so we're if we don't know it we're going to definitely learn it figure it out and master it and then we're going to advise our clients we want to better serve our clients always so we're always learning new stuff and we're bringing it back to our clients yeah. so we, when COVID came basically we had to readjust a lot of things we got we dove in head first basically into the zoom into using videos uh to do showings and stuff like that we uh hand sanitizers and you name it the ppe stuff we got a bunch of them we I'm didn't get a lot of it doesn't have your logo on it yeah. <laughs> not yet <laughs> <laughs> there you go i'm working on it um but uh we, we try to stay prepared for our clients always and that's one of the things that we want to be well dean basically he's the lead of our team he always wants us to always know what's next is going to be the question our clients are always going to ask and we have to have an answer for it. And we should answer that question before they ask it. Yeah. And then the other thing, the clients are always looking to us for advice along the way. I mean, that's how they choose the people that they're going to work with. And, um, you know, sometimes with, especially with the seller, you know, the highest offer is not always the best offer. So whatever comes our way, we want to analyze it, uh, talk to the loan officer, find out what the, that buyer's motivation is. If they're buying, you know, one of our listings, uh, how qualified they are, how much they've been vetted, how much they've been checked. And that information all gets shared in, a, you know, in an understandable way to the seller. It's always the seller's decision. It's always our client's decision. But I want to just load them up with as much fact and, and simple information and info that's in front of them. Now, Peter, the deal that we had was exceptionally, could have been exceptionally challenging. But you helped keep all of this together because we had, we had different family members um, in different states that weren't even here. Um, and, yeah. and that had to be managed, you know, the communication between them, their understandings, and it was two sets of um, understandings, let's say, and, um, and that had to be managed. And, uh, and, and that, you know, you made that really, really, really transparent. It was a great yeah, word. It was definitely, it was, it was a successful, uh, successful deal in the end. Let me ask you um, to talk a little bit about how you utilize technology. Okay. Okay. Uh, you want to have, who are you asking Dean or myself? Either one. Uh, uh, that's not up to me. <laughs> All right, uh, Dean, you go first. <laughs> All right. So, the, well, technology for marketing or technology for how we do oh, our job? Both. both. Okay. I mean, they're, very, they're both uh, intertwined. Right. So, for how we do our job. So, when we get um, when we have a new inquiry, um, somebody wants to sell a house, we have to look up. There's public records that we look up. We use different um, services. Um, some of them are public to everybody. They might not know about them, but we can share that with them. Others are unique to um, to realtors. So we'll go through um, Property Shark, um, Geodata. There's a lot of them. RPR is real uh, real estate realty property reports. We'll go through a lot of different services to come up with data to make sure that we have the best understanding up front to give the, um, the people the right information. So we do a lot of homework, a lot of research up front. Now, as far as as we go along, I mean the technology that 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 we use is um, we send them a bunch of information on a regular basis through our website at Keller Williams. So it's something called command command. If, if it's for a buyer and it's, you know, before they bought, they're going to get listings sent to them. They're going to get updates sent to them. They're going to get information on what questions buyers ask, what questions buyers should be asking. Sometimes they don't know what to ask. Um, so we try to load them up with that information up front. So there's technology behind the scenes that we use to get the best information that we can share. And then there's other ways that the clients can stay in touch with us. Also, when they're looking for a home, that when, when they do a search through our, through our website, through Keller Williams service, service, we could see what they're, they know this, but we see if they save a property, we know that they're interested in this home. We can we can get a jump start. They might be looking at three in the morning. Maybe their work schedule is a little different than our, than our work schedule, you know? But we'll see what it is. We'll get a note in the morning. We'll know, all right, we're up. They looked at this last night. Let, let's see what's going on here. 
Um, as far as loan track, loan tracking, excuse me, as far as transaction tracking, um, that, I mean, it's a little bit more basic. We use Google Drive, we use our own, we have an, an administrative team that will keep everything current so we can all share. I mean, we, we speak every day, but if I need something answered or if I'm curious about the status of an appraisal or something that's important on a file, I don't have to speak to our administrative assistant. We can just see it because everything is constant. It's, up, it's almost real time that we have everything behind the scenes to us. And then what about on the selling side? So like in the case of my client where they had to sell something. Okay. Well, when we list the property, we take photography. Uh, we have professional photographers that go out, take the photography. And then we also add video. Because of COVID, video was very big this year. And it's something that we're implementing into our business now. We shoot videos basically whenever we're doing the photography. And before we do the showings, we send them a link to the video so people can see the video. So number one, basically not to waste the seller's time. And number two, not to waste the buyer's time also. So pretty much people can watch the videos at any time. We also offer vir virtual uh, showings as well. Um, we can make, depending on where the situation is, where we are with COVID and uh, what the, the city allows us to do at that time. If we're doing virtual, one of us will be in the house. We'll do the video throughout the house. We'll do it live. And then um, they'll access it either through Zoom or FaceTime or whatever service that we're using. Then they can have a personal viewing of that, of the property. You can see everything that they need to see. And if they need to see it physically, then we'll make arrangements and we'll, we can do that as well. They can do it face to face. Well, and actually, um, when there was more of, I guess, a lockdown, whatever you want to call this, at the beginning of COVID back in April, in March, April, May, and June, and July, till we were really allowed to do in-person showings again. And that might come back for another four, six, or eight weeks, or, you know, for a little while, you know, from everything we hear. Um, so what we do with that to keep everybody safe, but to keep everything still moving, um, when we were doing open houses, we call them open houses. They're not open houses because there's, no, there's nobody there but Evan tonight. The sellers are out and there's nobody coming to the open house. But we would do Facebook Live. We would we would simulcast it on Zoom and on Facebook Live. So we would let people get interactive with us so they can either sign up and register. They know they knew that there was an open house, just like they might know that there's a regular old fashioned open house in the past. Also, and, uh, it would be simulcast on YouTube and Instagram as well. Okay. So people are seeing it and it's advertised and marketed in yeah. different places. But people are chiming in from, you know, so like if we're on Facebook and somebody asks a question on Zoom you know, we'll broadcast their question to the other, you know, out loud so that everybody hears we have a question about show me, you know, the closet space or whatever it would be. And um, if somebody wants to know how old the roof is. So it, we'll let's show you over here. We go, you know, whatever it is. And we go to the spot in the house and show them and, and let everybody kind of chime in together on that. And the other thing that we started utilizing more because since we couldn't do in person with a lot of people. So we started using more digital signing for for paperwork so we can do a zoom right here and we can send the paperwork via a link here in zoom they can sign it or at ad, our admin basically can send the paperwork via email or however they're going to send a docusign and the person can sign it on their phone or on their tablet or whatever computer that they have and they can easily sign it that way and you know we walk them through the process we have uh, video guides yeah. also for buyers and sellers. Document is great because you get a document in your email, you sign it, you click send, you immediately have your copy. It's right there. So yeah. we're not sending it to you. It's it's immediate. Yeah. yeah so for good. buyer and seller, basically, and attorneys are using it as well. So it, it just saves a lot of time. You don't have to wait for you don't have to wait for a regular mail or however it used to be sent back in the day. So you get it instant, and it just moves things along. Well, this is great, guys, and you know, and I, um, I really appreciate your knowledge of technology and how you utilize it. But what I love is that it doesn't replace who you are because no. you're a relationship and communication, guys, and that and that's how it's done. That's the the old fashioned way, for lack of a better term. But um, that's for me. That's what matters. It's relationships, and um, and then supplementing that with the technology, and that's kind of how we we run our business as well. well so I just want to thank you so much. We um, use the technology so that it can help us so that we can help you. Kind of. it, it's supposed to enhance, you know, our services. That's right. what it is. It's not going to replace what we do, but it's going to enhance everything. And the other thing I want to offer also to people in the beginning, people, not everybody was used to using 
Zoom or different things. We went out of our way basically to help people. If they didn't know how to do it, we showed them how to do it as well. Like we, we should give them lessons. Here's how you do this. Mm-hmm. If anybody needs help, we can we can help them with that as well. Our main focus is always going to be real estate, but if you need help with anything else, we can. If we don't, if we can't do it, we yeah, can always no, point you in the right so, direction. Um, hey guys, I think it was great great to hear what you have to offer, and you know the key is the relationship selling and um, and your effectiveness using that. And uh, there'll be I'll, at the end you'll see Evans and Dean's uh, personal information, and you could always contact them. And as I said, any questions there. They're very easy going and they're full of information. Thanks again. And I'll see you at my next interview. All right. Thank you, Peter. Bye everybody. Happy holidays, everybody. Happy holidays. Happy holidays.